Right now, there's a unique art exhibit on display in the Terrace Gallery at Orlando City Hall. It's a series of paintings and photographs that the artist says explore how nature sometimes struggles to be seen and heard. The exhibit titled Zuri is named after his six-month-old baby. And as News 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona shows us, it's a display that the artist says also touches on social issues minorities face. Our job is to capture what's going on around our, our world our, and our societies. Artist Peterson Guerrier's latest artwork is designed to make you think about the social issues he says minorities face today. No matter what you do in this world, the minute somebody see you and you're, minor, you're a minority, they automatically associate you with a life of that's probably not something that you've never been around. As a kid, I used to play with like water guns and playing cops and robbers, and now we can't really do that. One of the more provocative pieces in his exhibit called Zuri After His Daughter features the six-month-old wearing a crown of bullets and shells. First thing they see is that I'm black. And they don't care about my education, they don't care about my anything else. All they see is this and automatically think something else. And having my daughter, I'm trying to create a world where she doesn't have to feel that way. Peterson says the artwork is about challenging perceptions. We're supposed to be a society that's so supposedly so open-minded and, as they use it, woke. However, we're more sensitive now. You know, we have to really be careful on what we say and what we do. And showing the struggles of those that are seen and not heard. He says he also highlights animals for the same reason. For example, like these animals, you know, their their home is being taken away from them. They have no say, so they're being um, hunted for no for no apparent reason, for just pure gain when it comes to us as well. Certain things is being taken away from us. As you walk around the exhibit, you'll notice something particular about each piece. It's a red circle around the eye of either an animal or around the eye of a person. Peterson tells us it pretty much indicates that he's completely done with each piece. The red circle is my signature, but it's also my way of breaking myself away from the painting. So once I put the red circle in the painting, I don't touch it anymore, no matter how much I may want to go back and rework it. Among his favorite pieces is the first painting that started his collection, a representation of female empowerment. Having elephants in all my paintings is, is a sense of like the matriarch uh, in, my, in my life. So sh this is what this piece is, just a strong, powerful human being. It's a representation of my mother, representation of my daughter, representation of my girlfriend, representation of every woman that's in my life. I just wanted to create something that when my future generation were to look at it, they will be proud of it. His series of 18 large paintings and four photographs is located inside Orlando City Hall and will be on display through April 3rd. In Orlando, Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. Oh, the symbolism, yeah, and I love beautiful. what he said about his signature being yeah. that red circle. I've never heard something like that from an artist. So cool. And yeah. you can check that out at the City Hall right across the street from the Dr. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts. I was there the night they opened the exhibit, and uh, it was just a beautiful yeah. display. I mean, so much good stuff take there. Take a look through there. I like to paint a little bit, but I just slap a couple of things on. I'm amazed at how people come up with these ideas in their head, and it turns into that. So it was beautiful.